Okay, we finished this tornado shelter. We got four inch concrete walls, five inch thick concrete floor, five inch thick roof. It worked out to be nine foot square on the outside and seven foot six square on the inside. We've got a vent, fresh air intake at the bottom here and on the back side, opposite corner, we have a fresh air intake up at the top. And we have this solid stall door. It worked really, really good. Putting it in, inserting our block into it, placing concrete. It's solid with concrete all the way around it. You couldn't move that door, you could drive into the truck. And if you come look inside, we'll actually first take a look at this lip we made. We actually, with our boards, we, we molded it in a way that it, water will drip off of it, it won't go back in. And now we can do siding right up to that top edge and we got a concrete lip along there. That's just the way that we did our boards. And if we go inside and take a look, you'll see that we put 5 8 plywood up on the ceiling. We use pressure treated plywood for that. And there's lots of headroom in there, six foot eight of headroom. And this door is actually a six foot steel door. Solid six foot steel by two foot six. Don't really need much more than that, that's plenty. And it's got bed bolts at the hinge level. So this thing is solid, made for this type of construction. So that's it, another tornado shelter.